Good day! I am John Kenneth S. Lagsag, student nurse from NEUST, and this is an individual simulation return demonstration of teaching client to use incentive spirometer. For the goal, the patient accurately demonstrate the procedure for using the spirometer. Equipment, check for incentive spirometer. Implementation, review chart for any health problems that would affect the patient's oxygenation status. Bring necessary equipment to the bedside stand or overbed table. Perform hand hygiene and put on PPE if indicated. Identify the patient. Close curtains around the bed and close the door to the room if possible. Explain what you are going to do and why you are going to do it to the patient. Assist patient to an upright or semi powler's position if possible. Remove dentures if they fit poorly. Assess the patient's level of pain. Administer pain medication as prescribed if needed. Demonstrate how to steady the device with one hand and hold the mouthpiece with the other hand. If the patient cannot use hands, assist the patient with the incentive spirometer. Instruct the patient to exhale normally and then place lips securely around the mouthpiece. Instruct patient to inhale slowly and as deeply as possible through the mouthpiece without using the nose. If desired, a nose clip may be used. When the patient cannot inhale anymore, the patient should hold his or her breath and count to three. Check position of gauge to determine progress and level attained. If patient begins to cough, splint an abdominal or chest incision. Instruct the patient to remove lips from mouthpiece and exhale normally. If patient becomes lightheaded during the process, tell him or her to stop and take a few normal breaths before resuming incentive spirometry. Encourage patient to perform incentive spirometry 5 to 10 times every 1 to 2 hours if possible. Clean the mouthpiece with water and let it dry. Remove PPE if used. Perform hand hygiene. And document. 